video overview, I'm just going to show you how Clippio works and all of the really cool features in here that really make it um, stand apart from any other video creator um, again in the market. And we're, we're really excited about the launch on Tuesday um, and cannot wait for people to jump in here and start creating video. Now, when you first log into Clippio with your uh, account, you're probably going to see a blank area here under the My Project screen because you haven't created anything yet. I've been obviously playing around with this a bit. So you're seeing different projects I've created here. Now, when we launch on Tuesday, um, for the front end license, the, the studio and personal license, we're going to be providing 10 pre-done templates um, for users to actually click and edit up. Now, they, they will appear here at launch. We're actually feeding these into the platform right now. Um, so you should see these appear over the next few days. Um, and I'm going to talk about the upsell as well in a moment because the upsell is really important. It increases the amount of pre-done templates um, and loads of other cool stuff I'll get to. Now, the purpose of Clipio and why we built this wasn't just to create a video creator built on templates. Um, you know, there's, there's enough of them around. We've got that uh, certainly for our users. But what we want to do as well is give people the freedom to essentially customize and create their own stuff. And that's what we've achieved with Clipio. Clipio. So when you first come in here and get started, there are several ways you can actually go about creating a video. The first thing you can do is upload a video. So if you've got a video on your desktop, for example, um, or on a mobile, um, direct from your mobile library, or you can shoot on mobile, um, you can upload that file directly into Clipio. So I'll just upload a file real quick here. Um, let's do this video's um, outro. It doesn't take long to upload, depends obviously on the size of your video. Um, and once that's uploaded into the platform, it'll now create a project we can start on. So we click create there and we go straight into the canvas here to start editing this video up, which is one of our uh, animations from videos. Now, I'm not going to edit that just now. I'll talk about the editor in a second, but that's the first thing you can do. You can upload your own footage. Now, if you are on Clipio on a mobile and you click on the upload button, you actually have the option to shoot the footage right there and then. So if you want to capture a quick video of your house or your garden or out, um, at the beach or whatever, you can do that and it will upload into your Clipio account. Now, we do recommend um, right now that you do any of the editing stuff and all of the cool stuff in the editor, which I'll show you on desktop because it's a little bit easier to use. Um, we've got a few mobile upgrades coming over the next few days and weeks. Um, so you, you're going to be able to actually edit on mobile. But again, you can shoot on mobile, fire it into um, the, the editor and, and again, create a way. Now, that's the first thing you can do. Now, the next thing you can do is directly import video from YouTube, which is really, really cool. Now, if you've got a video channel, for example, on YouTube, you can import all of your, your content and you can then repurpose that for other uh, platforms and other social media sites, which I'll show you in a second. Now, with our YouTube import, you can either search for things, so you can actually type anything in there and it will find videos related, or you can just pop in the actual URL, which I've grabbed um, here just at the top, uh, a video of Lionel Messi for any soccer or football fans out there and just click on add and then Clipio will import that into the platform. So again, as you can see there, we've imported the YouTube video and we can now edit this up so we can add footage, we can add overlays and things like that. And I'll talk about that in just a second. So we can go direct from YouTube, which is really, really special. The other thing we've got as well is an integration with Giphy. So again, you can search out GIFs in here. So if I just type in funny, um, Okay, it will find lots and lots of gifts related to that. And again, you can add these straight into Clipio, import them and start creating a video with different gifts. Um, and then finally, we've also got a videos integration as well. So if you've got a videos account, what you're going to want to do is head over to the your account tab up at the top, go on to integrations here, and you will see the add integration option. And you will see the videos option to do that. And if you've got a videos account, when you go to click on add, it will ask you to log in. Once you log in, it will then pull all your renders um, directly into Clipio and make them available for you to import. If you don't have a videos account and want to show this feature off, which again, we probably recommend you do because we've got a ton of videos users out there in the market and probably on your list right now. Um, again, just let us know and we'll get you set up with a videos account with some, and you can render some stuff out um, and show this integration as well. But that's as easy as integrating videos. You just click and enter your login details. And again, it will be within here. And we can now pull in direct from videos. If I click on videos here, it's going to show the renders within my account, as you can see here. And again, I could click, I could click on any of this. So new template, click on add, it'll import that directly from videos, and then allow me to create there we go. There's the template. Let's take a look at this, create project, 
we go into Clipio, and there we go. We've got our videos template ready to go. So that's how we essentially can import um, any type of video clip. So it literally allows people to be really, really uh, creative with this stuff. Now, the other big integration we've got with Clipio, which we're really, really excited about, is stock. Okay, so we've done a deal with Shutterstock, huge, huge company, um, to essentially allow our users to tap into their stock footage library. And we've got hundreds of thousands of different videos, images, and audio that can be pulled right into Clipio. So if I search for something here, um, like Turtle, for example, it's gonna search their library and we can pull these videos right in. So if I go with this one, for example, click on customize this one, it's gonna add it to our canvas and allow us to start creating video. Now, one thing to note is when you add a clip from Shutterstock, so you import just as I've done there, some of these clips can take a few moments to actually pull and import into the platform. And the reason for that is they all start out as .movs over at Shutterstock, and we convert those to .mp4s to again um, push those into our platform. Now, we've got hundreds of thousands of clips um, to actually do that with. So over time, all of these clips are gonna be converted to MP4s while our users use this, and we cache these on our server. So if you are, uh, again, playing around with this and you're importing a clip and it's taking a few minutes to import, don't worry, it is importing it, it's just a larger clip, um, and we're just converting that to an MP4. And once it's happened, you're gonna come through to the editor we see here. Now, talking about Shutterstock, I wanna point out a couple of things here because this is quite big. Now, because we've integrated with Shutterstock and we've got a very unique deal with Shutterstock for all of our Clipio users, um, we've managed to get it at a massive, massive deal. Now, what this means is when people buy Clipio, so you recommend your users to buy Clipio, they buy a, a one-time license on the front end, they're gonna have access to 80 um, 80 uh, pieces of media. So that might be video, images, tracks, whatever they wanna use. And they can use all of that within the cost. They don't have to spend any more money on that. And again, you can see the plans you actually have on Shutterstock over here. Um, some of the clips, for example, if I go over to here and click on say this one here, can cost an absolute ton. This one is 299 pound alone. Um, again, absolute ton. But with Clipio, they're gonna get 80 of these included. Even their monthly charges here, you can spend 60 pounds which is the equivalent of around 80 to 100 dollars a month just for 50 images okay now what we've got with clipio and what's really really special is not only do they get 80 uh, downloads um as as part of their license but if they subscribe to our clipio creators which is our upsell number one which is our club and you're going to want to point this out we actually give them unlimited access to all of the Shutterstock um, footage, images, audio that we've got built into Clipio, and they can use it as many times as they're what they want. There's no restrictions. They don't have to pay any more money. So the deal is absolutely incredible. So keep that in mind. You'll not find that anywhere else. Now, with the actual editor, let's move on here so you can see what we can do with, with the actual clips. Um, once you've got a clip in here, obviously it plays in here so you can check it all out. The first thing I want to show you is aspect ratios. Now, one thing we've done with Clipio and the editor is made it free flow. So you can actually move the clip wherever you want. And I've got it right now set at the standard aspect ratio of 19, 20, 10, 80. Now, we again have aspect ratios for all of the social media channels out there. If you want square video, vertical video, you can do it right in here in one click. If I click on square and we go and create a, a Facebook ad, it's gonna change the actual canvas um, so that we can create a video of that aspect ratio. Now, the really cool thing in here is we can now mess with the footage. So the media um, tab up here will allow you to scale the actual footage in the timeline so we can scale that to how we want that to look within the actual square video. So when people are adding in different clips here, they can scale it and move it around to make sure the bit they want on the actual video is in there. It's really, really cool, it gives them total freedom. Um, now I'm gonna go back to the um, standard aspect ratio here. So let me scale that clip back up real quick. There we go, okay, so there you go. And I've scaled that up, so we've got a nice turtle eating some food. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is Mimify. So we've got our Mimify bars in the actual platform as well, and you can add these in one click. So if I wanna add at the top of mine, watch this video, okay, this is how easy this is. 
Okay, I can change the text color. Let's go with the yellow. I'll go with the back black background. Click done, and there we go. We've memeified the video. We can do bars up and uh, at the bottom as well, or just one at the bottom. Again, this is really really cool for engagement. You can add these to any video. So again, if we're creating a square video, you can add these bars with one click as well. So that's the memeify feature there. We've also got a quote feature built in where we can actually add random quotes to our actual video. So if people want to make quote videos, we've got a ton of quotes in here on, on lots of different categories that they can basically randomize and pull into the platform. Um, now we've got aspect ratios, which I've explained be uh, below. Now the next thing I want to show you is the actual editor. And down here, we can add as many different clips we want. So if we click on add media, we can now search our Shutterstock library. So if I type in turtle again, it's going to search Shutterstock. So you can pull in lots of different clips. So I can pull in another clip on turtles. Let's go with this one here. Again, it's going to add. It may take a bit to add um, as it's being pulled across from Shutterstock there. But one thing to note on that as well, as I mentioned already in this video, Every single clip that we pull from Shutterstock like this one right now, what we're actually doing is converting that to MP4, caching that on our server. So the next time a user uses that exact clip, it's already cached on our server and we'll pull in instantly. Okay, so there we go. It's imported now and it's always going to import at the end of the actual editor here. And you can scale this along as you grow your video. Now I'm going to trim down this particular clip a little bit here. Let's make that a little bit smaller and pull that clip in there. Let's go a little bit smaller still. There we go. So we've got two clips on the actual timeline now. And again, you can check the clips and then scale these out as you want. Let me just play that so you can see that. And we're starting to build a video and we can be as creative as we want here. And this is just using these shutter stock clips. Now, we can also add in, of course, videos animations. And we recommend you show this. So when we go across to videos here, let me search out one of my animations. New template, I think one's called. There we go. So I can add this one in here. Um, and that's added into the canvas at the end here. So let's take a look at that. So there we go. We've got now a video's outro to the video as well. Now you'll notice the video's outro has audio there. And any clips you import with audio, you can actually control the audio of the clip just by dragging that down. Really, really cool. So I'm going to turn the audio off there because I'm going to add my own audio clip in just a second. Now one other thing I want to show you is our built-in text animations and text overlays as well. And we've got a ton of these that you can add in here. So all we do is click on add. It's going to add that into the actual timeline here. I can click on that and it's going to open it over here. We can now write whatever we want. So I can go turtles are cool. This is a great video. Now, whatever you write in here, you can scale it out. So you can put as much text as you want. Um, I'm going to go with a white. Let's go with white text. We'll go with white text there as well. Um, and then the yellow box, I'll put um, thanks for watching. Let's change that to white text as well. And we've obviously got all built in fonts here. So you can change all the fonts. I won't do all that now. Click on update. So that's going to update that text file. So let's take a quick look at this. There we go. Now we've got that in the middle of the video there. I want that a little bit bigger. So you can click on the animation, actually drag it and make it much bigger. I think I prefer it a bit bigger like that. Let's check out what that's like. There we go. Look, looks great. So again, um, users can get as creative as they want. Now, the other thing I want to show you here is adding audio. So we've no um, music playing or anything in here. And again, with Shutterstock, we've got built in audio. So if I just type in audio here, just type in fish and you can type in anything. It's going to search audio out and we get a ton of audio tracks. So we can listen to these. OK, so you can go through and listen to them. That's a pretty cool one. I'm going to add this one into the canvas here. OK, so that's imported now. I can then head over to our audio track here and there we have it and we can click play. And we started to create a cool video about turtles with a really, really nice audio track there. And we've got both stock footage, uh, text animations and of course, um, video uh, a video from videos as well. Now, once people are finished here, and again, I want to point out that our canvas is auto save. So you don't have to save everything you do within the canvas auto saves as you go along. Now, if you want to export the video, we just click on export here. We're going to name the video, click on export, and it will render that out into an MP4. So you can take that and use it wherever you want. So that's basically how Clippio works. We're really, really excited um, about this platform, excited about what this can do, excited 
excited about all of the really cool features we've got in here. Now, if you've got any questions, um, do let us know. We're excited for May 28th. If you if you run into any issues or anything like that, just hit us up um, and we'll take a look at that for you. Um, but Clippy always coming. It's going to be absolutely massive. We're excited. We hope you are too.